Hello everyone, just I wanted to do a, an update. Um, I don't have an, uh, a lot of time uh, to work on the um, custom 3D printers, but I did some uh, updated uh, updates, okay? So I mounted the motors for, this is for the X. Uh, I have another one for the Y, the Y down there, and of course the Z axis. Okay, and I mounted the the, um, uh, the moment uh, part, so I can move this uh, the entire y axis along the z axis. Okay, motor is up here, and it's working fine. Um, I need to figure out how to tension this uh, uh, this belt. I have a tension in here, but uh, I'm not too happy with it. If you see, it's very loose. I try to, um, I'm not sure if I can show you because it's against the light. Um, I try to tension it and it's not uh, doing too well. So I need to figure out a better solution for this. Okay. The Z axis works pretty well. Yeah, actually the X and this is the Z, of course. Uh, so go up and down, okay. I have some moments here, I need to tighten some bolts and stuff. Okay, and then I wanted to show you the update on the, uh, on the extruder uh, side. Okay, let me put you down here. Okay, so this is the extruder. I have a motor. Um, the mount uh, here, okay, um, and this is the mount for the uh, extruder uh, heater block, okay. So, uh, of course, the drill bit goes inside here, okay, and uh, now I need to figure out how to mount this guys and this guy on top of it. And that. Okay, but this is the idea. You know, and it goes all the way inside here. Okay. Now this this uh, mount and this mount are not the same size, so I need to pull pull up this guy a bit. Um, maybe a centimeter or something, maybe maybe less. So I need to design some uh, good mount for it, um, so that they are in line, and the extruder chamber here is in line with the, of course, with the drill bit. Okay. And as I mentioned last time, this is going to be induction heating. I'm testing this and I'm finding that uh, it works pretty well. I just need to figure out a testing bench, a good testing bench to do more testing because I want to make sure that everything works fine and I won't have any problem to reach uh, specific temperatures. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is, this is the extruder and then this guy of course, it goes to, on top of the Z axis. And uh, let me show you. So I most likely will mount uh, something like this. Okay, let me get this guy on this plate so that maybe something like this. Okay, and this is because so I can remove the entire extruder from the uh, from the z axis okay just i want to be able to remove the entire block so that uh, if i need to fix something or do maintenance or something else i just need to remove the entire block and don't have to deal with uh, the z axis and wiring all that stuff okay and so this goes up here so I'm just uh, playing around with the best solution that I can find, that I can figure out. Um, 
it looks uh, it looks good I just need to design this I need to take some measurement here between this bracket uh, let me show you again so basically they are not the same size of course and so I need to figure out uh, how to level this up and down maybe it's a half a centimeter or something like that I just need to do some measurement yeah basically that's it I bought uh, um, some more I need to buy some more um, belts because the ones that I have are uh, I have only one that can reach the entire y-axis from from here to uh, down here which is uh, a meter and 20 something like that so the belt needs to be at least 250 and so i need to buy some more of this um, maybe a 10 meter so that i can have uh, some spear uh, what else that's it i don't have uh, i'm i'm sorry that i can post uh, more but i would like to uh, work is uh, just drive me crazy and this uh, project is taking a uh, really long time but you know priorities oh and the other thing I wanted to to uh, make it more rigid here I need to buy an L not this L but uh, the one that uh, has um, actually no I cannot use that's what I wanted to say. I cannot use one that has uh, a, a T-shape because here it goes the, the Z-axis, okay? So up here. All right, so I cannot put it a, 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 a cross. No, what's the name again? A T-shape, okay? Fastener. So I come up with this guy. I think it should be enough. I need to drill some holes here and make it uh, so I, I will be able to screw in. Okay, and that's it. So just this is the update that I, can, that I wanted to share. And uh, please subscribe to the channel, uh, put a like, uh, turn on notification if you already subscribed. And if you have any suggestions or comments, please uh, leave it something in the comment and I'll see you on next video. Bye-bye.